If you're considering joining the Royal Engineers and want to choose a trade where you get to use some of the most high-tech kit and support a range of defence and international organisations, then why not join as a Geographic Technician? I've had some excellent opportunities with Geo. Always challenging, always learning new stuff. You are so needed. The work I'm doing has an actual impact. I've got a lot of responsibility as a Geographic Technician. Geotechs are a highly specialised branch within the Royal Engineers and we offer an excellent salary, promotion prospects, degree qualifications, job security and all the added benefits of being a serving soldier in the British Army. A geographic technician can enhance the understanding of a commander of the actual ground where he's going to be operating him. For example, in a place where the enemy is and we can't get there but you want to know what they can see, Without physically going there, we can use our equipment and tell them. Geo soldiers are advanced users of IT, GIS software, surveying equipment and web services. This wide skill set allows us to create a variety of products, ranging from a map to a full 3D visualisation of the battlefield. There's so many aspects to Geo. You could be an imagery specialist working with imagery analysts. You know, GPS surveying airfields around the world. We collect and compile data from sources such as aerial photography and satellite imagery. We also conduct terrain analysis studies and provide geographic advice to commanders during operations and tactical planning. You could go straight out of training, straight into briefing a four-star general. They need you at the end of the day to do their job. And that responsibility shows what is required of you as a geo. We operate in any environment, sometimes office-based and sometimes out in the field, deployed in all-terrain vehicles using mobile IT kit. You want to know helicopter landing sites. Yeah, we've got a base map here of, of, of the actual ground and the area where troops are operating in, but we've got the focus on where helicopters can and can't land. You could be creating big wall briefing maps. You could be conducting these dead ground studies, you know, what, what areas can be seen, what areas can't. Google Earth is the most similar app to what we're trying to do. It looks like a computer game. It is like the future. <laughs> Without our geographic products, the Army would struggle to move within the new battle space environments it faces in a changing world. I recently returned from a tour of Afghanistan. The Falklands last year. Switzerland, Italy twice. You can literally go anywhere in the world. Being a geotech is not for everyone. We're looking for men and women who are technically minded and eager to learn and keep learning. The qualifications you gain from geo are immense. I've got so many qualifications, it's unbelievable now. In return, you'll get experience and recognised qualifications, which prove invaluable if you decide to return to civilian life. You're highly employable in, in, in Civvy Street. You get promoted much quicker than you would in a mainstream engineering role. You've got your promotion aspects, you've got your pay. Our geospatial training is internationally renowned. You'll do your geotech training here at Denison Barracks near Newbury in Berkshire. But before that, you'll need to train as a soldier and a combat engineer. At an army training regiment, you'll learn how to handle weapons. You'll be taught field craft, map reading, and other basic combat skills. And we'll get you fit. Next in your training, you'll be taught combat engineering at Minley in Surrey. Here, you'll learn what it is to be a sapper. And we'll show you the key skills of the combat engineer construction, bridging and demolition. You get to do some really cool things like build bridges, blow them up. That was one of my favourite bits of training. You're pretty much outside every day. It's a hard, hard course, but in the end, it's just something really to be proud of. Along the way, you'll also gain your LGV licence, learn off-road driving and also pass your ADR training certificate for driving with dangerous goods. Oh, when I got in, I didn't have a car licence, so straight away I drove a lorry. You know, that was all in the first year of my army career. The cost of that on civilian street is a few thousand pounds, but we're actually getting paid to learn the skills. Once you're a fully trained combat engineer, you'll then undertake specialist training at the Royal School of Military Survey. The course lasts 42 weeks, and you'll learn a range of theory and practical skills. There's always stuff to learn, but you're never like at a loss because there's always people to help you. You're basically 
in university. As a qualified Class 2 geographic technician, you'll be posted to the home of 4-2 Engineer Regiment at Witton in Cambridgeshire. Here, you'll join one of the resident geo squadrons in a modern, spacious working environment at a location with excellent purpose-built facilities. It's all new. Tons of space. I never thought I'd live in that kind of accommodation in the army. It's the best rooms I've had so far. You'll also have plenty of opportunity for travel, whether on operations, exercise, detachments or postings all over the world. You can help with special forces and you can attach to them government intelligence, NATO, the peacekeeping and UN missions. You could be on five days notice to move and within that five days, you know, you go from zero to out the door. Following some time in the field army, you'll undertake the final part of your main training, the Class 1 course. Here, at no personal cost, you'll receive a foundation degree in applied computing with the opportunity to go on to gain a full honours degree. Now, you'll be an expert in a trade that'll be invaluable for the rest of your life. But it's not all work. Training is also a time for making friends and enjoying all the other opportunities that being in the Royal Engineers provides. I've been mountain biking, rock climbing on numerous occasions. This year, I'm representing the combined services at the British Powerlifting Nationals. Usually find myself in the gym. The gym's massive. So if you want to take advantage of some of the best specialist opportunities, pay and job security benefits, then a career as a Royal Engineer Geographic Technician could be for you. If you want a job that takes you all over the world, where you'll be doing different tasks, then definitely choose Geo. To find out more, go to our website, call this number, or visit your local Army Career Centre.